Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of We the Revolution. So it is day 6 and in front of us sits the king himself who attempted to flee and got caught. So apparently everyone wants him to die except for our family who would prefer it if he would just be locked up. But I think if we handle this like history handled it, we probably have to behead him. But let's first read the charges. Speech for the prosecution by Antoine Quentin. Compatriot, Citizen Capet, previously known as King Louis XVI of France, must be punished for conspiring against the people of France. Oh, that sounds grim. Louis Capet tried to defend his absolute authority by plotting against the National Constituent Assembly and the people of France. We all remember July of 1789. He gathered an army, 15 foreign regiments, and ordered them to surround Paris. Soldiers, led by Baron de Bessonval, were to capture deputies and shoot at citizens defending the reforms. And so they did. The Royal German Regiment drew first blood. After the plot failed, Louis Capet tried to flee the country with his family and scheme with foreign monarchs abroad. Is that not the reason he took flight from the Tuileries one night in June of 1791 using someone else's passport? Was he not heading to Montmédy where his loyal armies were stationed ready to take him to Austria? If it were not for Postmaster Duray, this scheme could have ended tragically for us. Louis Capet will never abandon the thought of suppressing the revolution by force. Before the events of 1792, he gave orders for the Swiss guards stationed in the Tuileries to be doubled. He conducted a public, master in fr public muster in front of horrified citizens. The people had no choice. They had to act before Capet attacked. Citizens of Paris who tried to stop the madness were shot at even after Capet's escape to the National Assembly. Evidence, an order issued by Marshal de Broglier... Broglier to Baron de Besenval. I think I'm really butchering those French names. I'm sorry. It seems like the king wanted to stop this revolution by force. So what's this? My lord, should any reason appear, shoot the rebels without hesitation, just as his majesty ordered. Have no mercy, for they shall have none either. Well, that doesn't tell us that much but that the king was trying to f draw in some forces from outside to stop this rebellion and to flee himself okay so he took another one's passport to get out but then he was captured and this is why he's sitting here so we all remember july of 1789 so that must have been three years ago because 1791 is just this year because this is when he was caught he was caught yesterday right okay well then let's just unlock our questions oh there's a lot to unlock here so the accusation is i guess the accusation is for sure attempting to flee the country probably also no the, suppressing the revolution might be the motive here the method was probably doubling the size of the guard and surrounding the city of Paris. Also perhaps gathering the armed forces and maybe also shooting civilians, I don't know. Who are the who are the witnesses? I guess it must have been postmaster Duray, but I, there's nothing that I could I can't choose him. I didn't I didn't already Put him there did i no i don't think so so i guess the motive was defending his authority then next would be hmm, shooting civilians was probably fake passport is probably also it's tricky because it could be both it could be the method and it could be the accusation but no i guess it's not the accusation that he faked his passport so i suppose it belongs to the method yes the international plot is definitely an accusation, I suppose. Yes. Suppressing the revolution is probably a motive. 
Oh, and it's also something else. Oh, wait, I'm not done. So, suppressing the revolution is probably... Oh, it could be both a method and the accusation. I guess suppressing the revolution would be the end product of all the methods that we just gathered. So, I'm gonna put it to accusations. Yes. So, where does this belong? Okay, this is only... This can only be a method. Okay, we did it with no fail, with no faults. Aw, our son draws something. Oh no. What have I done? I did nothing to upset her. Or is she crying because of the king? Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I think it was because of the last case where I went against the jury. Oh, and that's because I have a good relationship with my wife. It says here, I have a bonus from that. So why is my wife crying? Although I guess I have other reasons, other stuff to worry about. Well done, let's just ask. Louis Capet, I hereby open your trial. Answer the questions when asked. Capet is the name of one of my ancestors. My name is Louis Auguste de Bourbon. That may have been your name before you raised your hand against the people you had sworn, who had sworn to defend. As a king, I have never done a thing against my people. I loved them, and I still do. I don't know about that. Objection. There is evidence of Louis Capet's treason against the people of France. He should be tried as a foreigner and enemy, not a citizen of the Republic. Questioning the defendant will stir the impatient audience. Once angered, the people may even start a riot. Okay, so that's something new. Fine, well then let's start asking. Shall I ask for... Shall I ask the, the witness first? I think I want to ask the witness first. I think that's how it usually goes. Call in the witness, Jean Duray. Please introduce yourself. Jean Duray, postmaster of saint Menhoul, Monsieur Le Jage. So, did the accused Louis Capet introduce himself to the witness with his full name? No, he didn't introduce himself at all. He only produced someone else's documents. So he tried to hide his identity. Yes, you could say so. I used the name from the documents after he showed them to me. He never objected. Then how did you learn of his true identity? By the image on the paper assignation. Then a messenger from General Lafayette confirmed my suspicions. I ran as fast as I could to Varennes to inform the authorities. Hmm, so what is the best way to go here? I think I want to know if he was nervous or in a hurry. Because that's how you would act when you're fleeing. Was the accused acting like a defector? Was he nervous or in a hurry? No, the king, I mean Capet, was in no hurry. He even found the time to jest. Oh, well, clever, clever. What about the Capets? That I do not know. Only the king would leave the carriage. I mean, Capet, judging by his clothes, I thought he was merely a townsman. Would the accused like to comment on this testimony? I do not see anything wrong with traveling in modest, comfortable clothing. It is even adv advisable for practical reasons. Yeah, but it is, is it also advisable for practical reasons to fake your passport? It would be advisable during an escape, especially if a monarch were trying to sneak away. Really? That doesn't, uh, that doesn't make everyone suspicious. So, how do we start? I would like to know who, who made his passport. Who was responsible for the delivery of the passport of the man called Pinay? My butler. I ordered him to prepare all the formalities regarding travel to Montmédy. The city hall has not received any submissions from your butler. I do not know what to say. Monsieur Le Jage, Louis Capet's butler was seen at the Austrian embassy. They surely took care of all the documents for the defectors. Monsieur Tinville, that is mere heresy. Who said such a thing? Bring him here so that he may repeat it. There is no need. That is hard evidence, especially in light of what the accused has told us. I think that is a good question. Has the accused ever considered Paris and its citizens to be his enemies? Absolutely not. I ask that you explain the question. That was a pretty clear question. 
How can you deny it if you do not understand the question? Your army surrounded Paris, is that not what you do to your enemies? My soldiers were there only to ensure public order while the National Assembly was in session. Adequate forces were already present in Paris, was that not enough? Who issued the order to fire at citizens defending the National Constituent Assembly? Either Marshal de Broglie or Baron de Besenval, the one responsible, should be the one standing here as he was not authorized to issue such orders. Yeah, but in the letter it's... Really? Not according to this document, it was signed by the Marshal. Marshal de Broglie went too far and lied to us all. I swear on my crown I did not issue that order. De Broglie is a sworn monarchist and was given an army to suppress the revolution. Would he work on his own without Capet's blessing? People sometimes do stupid things. I don't know. Because here it says, just as his majesty ordered. Okay. So, who gave the order to shoot? Was the accused... Was the accused planning to... Was the accused planning to reclaim his authority in Paris and re-establish an absolute monarchy? Why would I do that? According to constitutional law, I was still the king. Then why did you raise a number of troops in the Tuileries? I feared for my family's life. It is not a mystery that the citizens of Paris were incited to seize the palace and capture us, especially as it was Mr. Danton's goal. It is clear, then, that the guard were organized against the citizens of Paris, many of whom had fallen in the Tuileries. Against violence and disorder, Mr. Tinville, not against my people. I don't really understand. What Tell us one thing. When does a leader order a muster? When there is a need to strengthen discipline and inspire courage. So you admit that you encouraged the guards to attack Paris? No, there were many armed citizens around the palace already. I only wanted to give my troops hope during the defense. I would like to emphasize the fact that my family were in grave danger. If their lives were in danger, the fault lay with you. It was not the first time you sent your troops to fight citizens. Gentlemen, I look in vain for a judge here, for I only see accusers before me. I'm asking questions here. You know, I would like to lock him up, probably. Maybe that's an even worse fate, being in prison for the rest of your life than having a quick death. But I suppose everyone would hate me a lot for that. Except for my family. Oof, oh well. Hmm. Who helped you suppress the revolution? Frederick William II, Francis II, Catherine II, or maybe your relative, Charles IV? Justice awaits them as well. Nonsense, all of it. My only desire to take my family out of Paris as I did not wish for them to suffer house arrest. We all know the European monarchs despise our ideals of freedom, equality and brotherhood. Am I to understand that you try to prepare a joint military intervention? I deny any such accusation. There is no evidence for such outrageous claims. I would never turn against my beloved France. Why is he shooting at people then? <laughs> Liar! He'd sell his own mother, never mind his country. Bad judge? What? People's patience has its limits. The trial went on for too long and the audience was extremely agitated. Everyone hates me. Okay. How oh, great. What did the accused plan to do with the constituents' deputies? Nothing. The assembly that I joined on 27th June 1789 granted immunity to its members and I intended to respect that. And yet you ordered your soldiers to seize and imprison the deputies and perhaps even execute them. Nonsense. There is no evidence of that. My enemies spread rumors to get rid of me. We don't need evidence against a coward who runs from his own people. Okay. People want him to hang now. And I guess there's there will be a riot soon. Hmm. So the people are aggressive. And I guess I can't go against the jury. And I think I have to give them what they want. It sounds... Er everything just sounds so strange. I don't really... I don't know. I think I'm gonna give them what they want. I think... I asked a lot of questions. So I should do good on the report as well. So then let's go with the death penalty then. Okay. 
They would still like me a little if I sent him to prison, though. But it's still the jury's opinion. Wait. I'm gonna ask him one more question, so maybe it will sink to locking him up again. I wanna try it. I wanna see if I survive this. I probably wouldn't survive it if I set him free. But who gave the order to the accused to have to abolish? Who gave the order to shoot the citizens gathered around the palace? I did, but it was not an order to attack. The guard's duty was only to respond if the citizens attacked. Their duty was to protect my family. In that case, they should have ceased fire as soon as you escaped to the National Assembly with your family. It was chaos. I did not have a chance to give such an order, but I did so immediately upon arriving at the Assembly. Really? So the accused has innocent blood on his hands. Really? That lessons? I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. Because I think prison is, as well, a very harsh sentence. Because he's gonna have a long time sitting in prison before in front of him and not immediate death. I guess getting beheaded isn't that great either. But sitting in jail lasts a bit longer. So I don't know. I think I want to try what happens. Because... I know from Abyss that if you set him free, you're surely going to die. So let's see how this goes. And if not, we're going to repeat the day. And then we're going to kill him. Oh, what's happening here? Monsieur le Judge, the crowd in front of the building is enraged. There may soon be a massacre. Oh. A rumor has spread about hidden evidence of citizen Capet's trees and people have gone mad. Okay, there's more evidence. Interesting. What evidence? I will go to them. I would ask you all to stay in your seats until I return. What's going to happen now? And what is this secret evidence? People! What vexes you? Why are you so angry? The king lied to us! That coward ran from us! He'll surely run from justice as well! We found proof of the king's treachery in his secret iron cabinet! Oh, a strategy building. Before attempting persuasion, you may explore different approaches to all the topics of the conversation. After employing every kind of emotion, you will receive an evaluation of your choices. Each attitude comes with a set of emotions that can have a positive and negative impact. Learn their effects to manipulate the people of Paris in any way you please. The higher your reputation, the more you know about the other speaker's attitudes. You can also obtain this information by spending influence points. I have one influence points. Okay, so let's see. The topic is Citizen Capet shall not escape justice. Carelessness, humility, aggression, manipulation. You know what? Let's spend one point. Huh. Two withdrawn. Well, um... So, I guess the people will need I guess the people need clear words right now to appease them. So, I am I would both say that aggression, like speaking clearly and reassuring would be the best approach, but I'm huh, I'm thinking. So, this is she shall not escape. I think we should make that clear. The evidence from the iron cabinet will be examined. It should be Maybe humility? I don't know if this is like, if, if humility like equals calm or reassuring. I don't know what, manipula what manipulation would do. Maybe I'm gonna choose it and believe in me. Because, let's be honest, we're not like the most popular people right now. Everyone thinks that we're an alcoholic. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna try it with this one. I think carelessness would never be a good thing, would never be a good attitude for a judge. Uh, believe in me. I don't know. I think humility is like um, could be maybe the wrong approach. I don't know what aggression would be like. Maybe manipulation. Maybe I'm gonna try this. Okay. I think this animation looks really cool. <laughs> Commence pers persuasion. So let's hope we're really gonna persuade people. Let's go. The king has been imprisoned. He will not escape a second time. If he tries, I will kill him with my own bare hands. Oh, wow. 
die Evidence from the Ark. Each new piece of evidence will be thoroughly examined. The Republic's standards demand nothing less. I shall follow them to the letter. Okay. Intrigued and then believe in me. Let's try manipulation. Justice must return to our country and stay here for good. No one is more concerned about this matter than a judge of the tribunal. Please love me. Yes. Okay, people are intrigued. That's at least nothing bad. So, oh, and it also had some positive effects on our reputation. So I guess people will wait and see now. So then I guess we should get new evidence soon, right? Okay. It is true. Evidence of Capay's guilt has been found. Ooh, more documents. Really? Would the defendant like to explain why he concealed his secure iron cabinet and the documents hidden within from the convention? I hid nothing from the convention. No one asked me about the existence of such things. You kept your correspondence well hidden under lock and key. It could only be retrieved with the assistance of a master locksmith. Any affluent Parisian has a lockable cabinet. I, for one, am keenly interested in locksmithing. He seems to have a response for anything. It's just, it's just strange. So wait, so this is the first one. Yes. Okay, so this one we already read. What's here? The deputies of the so-called National Assembly are to be carefully questioned, and if any of them should display common sense and cease to support the Assembly, reward him with an extraordinarily high allowance and forward His Majesty's thanks. Okay, so that's a little bit of a different scenario now. Because at first it was said that the deputies were questioned and then to be killed, and but, then, but they also gave him gave them the possibility to turn their coats, I guess. Still, I gotta say, in this act, I feel like I missed a lot because I don't know history. Okay, so that's it. So, we trust that with God's grace and help, His Majesty will soon arrive within the Imperial borders for us to grant HM, as well as our beloved sister, safety and to potentially take the steps necessary to re-establish the natural European order within the borders of France. His Imperial Majesty, the Holy Roman Emperor, King of Hungary, Bohemia, Croatia, Dalmatia, Slavonia, Galicia, Lodomeria, etc., Leopold II of Habsburg. So he was like intriguing with other countries to to take back his own country or like he's like this letter puts it the natural european order so i guess to all the monarchs in other countries too it was a thorn in their sides to see the people rebel okay so that's the next one and what's this your Grace, soon we will come to your Majesty's rescue. However, for the time being, I implore your Majesty to muster local troops that remain loyal. I shall issue a warning to your Majesty's subjects that any and all who dare raise a hand against your Majesty would suffer the direst of consequences. My armies await my orders to curb the tide of anarchy in your Majesty's country. Duke of Brunswick, Lüneburg, Charles William Ferdinand. So this is another letter sending his troops his way to aid the king to restore order so i guess this is like uh, another piece of the puzzle of taking back his authority if he has to with brute force so well that changes a lot i guess so what about so did this change yeah so are there new questions to be unlocked here too okay a counter-revolution would probably be from the Emperor because he wrote that together they could um, re-establish the old order. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh no. I guess that's... Okay, well then I guess it's evidence. Okay. Whew! Attempted escape was probably a course of events. Suppressing the revolution was... Counter-revolution? I mean, that would be, like, the most logical thing, right? Okay. Okay, one last thing. Minister's order. Oh, wait, what was the minister? Who was the minister? Was it, like, is, is this the guy from France, or is it... But I guess it's evidence, right? Yes. Oh, and it's one thing else. Oh, it's a method. Whew! Okay. 
Okay, um, so. Was the accused responsible for the attempts to bribe deputies of the assembly in order to abolish it? I did not sign the document, sir. But it was found in a cash belonging to the accused. It speaks of thanks from the king. My intention was to put Minister Roland on trial for abusing his power. I kept the document for that occasion. A trial that has not happened for three years now. That, a trial that needs to happen. Roland will confess to the guillotine. That is the fault of the Minister of Justice. I ordered him to carry out an investigation and to punish the Minister of Internal Affairs. He's so quick to roll the responsibility to someone else. Did the accused intend to lead the Emperor's forces to France? I certainly did not. In his letter, the Emperor was quite clear about his intentions to return order to France. I do not know the plans of Emperor Leopold, but I do know that I would never allow anyone to spill French blood. He allowed him his own people to do that. But you must admit that such an offer from an enemy government paints you in a bad light. Dear God, it is merely personal correspondence from my brother-in-law. It is not personal when the letters exchanged are by rulers and deal in matters of national security. I guess. Well, you are aware of the plans of the Emperor and the Duke of Brunswick. Why did you not warn the National Assembly and the army? You need to speak up. I did not deem their threat serious. That reeks of treason. Oh, our family wants him to hang now too. Oh. Allow me to quote, my armies await my orders. Does that not sound like a serious threat? Prince Charles is impetuous, but I never once thought he would dare attack France. Was the Swiss guard going to help during the Duke's attack on Paris? No, they were only supposed to keep my family safe. You doubled the numbers of the guard before the events in August. It seems as though everything was going according to the Duke of Brunswick's plan. Nonsense. I cannot be held responsible for the intentions Prince Charles stated in this letter. Why would I act against my own people when his attack was already doomed to failure? Okay, I think everyone wants him to hang. I'm just going to ask him one more. Citizen, would you call Minister Jean-Marie Roland a loyal servant? I don't even know who that is. I'm a little bit confused about this guy. He was always loyal to France and the revolution. There was a time when I held him in high regard. We have a letter from the minister here in which he encourages bribery... Oh, okay, that was him. In which he encourages bribery of deputies of the convention. I have heard that when the cabinet containing new evidence was discovered, Roland dismissed his associates so he could carefully go through the contents by himself. During one meeting, I joked that we would be able to save the balance of the Republic if I could find just one honest man in the convention who would back me. It would seem your humorless joke was taken quite seriously. Judging by what was left, I dread to think what documents the minister succeeded in destroying. Okay. I hope the accused does not lose his job. It would be a pity. Okay, I think everyone's going mad outside, so... Everyone wants him to hang. Okay. Okay. So, if I let him go free, I would for sure be removed from office. I would lose a lot if I just put him to prison. And I would gain a lot if I sentence him to death. And I guess everyone wants that. So, you know what? I'm gonna give the people what they want. Okay, so let's answer our questions. Did the defendant confess to the crime? No, he didn't. Since we had those reports, no one confessed to his crime, I just realized. Who was corrupting politicians at, at Citizen Capet's request? Jean-Marie Roland, I guess. Oh, he was not. According to the defendant, why did Emperor Leopold write him letters? He was afraid for the life of his sister. He was afraid for the life of innocent citizens. He was afraid for the life of his friend, Citizen Capet. I suppose Marie Antoinette was his sister, so also he said that in his in his letter he wrote something like my beloved sister, so probably his sister was the most important to him. Did Citizen Capet explain his reasoning behind Roland's mission of corruption? Apparently he misspoke, he denies the situation took place, he claims it was merely a jest. I think it. she said something about a joke, right? Let's see if we did a good job here too. 
I sentence Citizen Capay to death by guillotine. Take the convict away. Long live the people. Down with the tyrant. Okay, yeah, it was true. It was, uh, I guess, correctly. Oh, well. So, let's see. Everyone loves us more, I guess. So, that's it. We did it. We finished another case. Do they understand? Their excitement was stronger than the smell of the fresh wood the guillotine was made from. Do they know what's about to happen? Sheep that only now realize they used to have fangs and claws. One thought guides their clenched fists. To bow before the new, uncompromising idol with his shining steel crown. I too have felt their eyes on me, just like him. A silent assistant in this ritual of new faith. A random acolyte, scared, doubtful. Will not the old gods seek vengeance for this treachery? He abandoned them all too easily. I was unable to understand their screams. I only tasted the stench of their sweaty bodies. But I could hear one thing perfectly. Bring us the king. Maybe I could win the heart of the crowd. Oh. Earn the favor of the crowd by delivering a speech or proceed directly to the execution. Remember, once you start your speech, there is no going back. An awkward or clumsy speech will earn you nothing but ridicule from the audience. Depending on your reputation, the crowd will be more or less aggressive. So do I have a good reputation or not? I guess my reputation is a little bit flawed. I would still like to give a speech though. Or should I just commence, co commence with the execution? No, let's give a speech first. Okay, so for the crime I guess... Aggression is fitting. The defendant... I guess what the crowd wants to hear is something aggressive as well. Oh, they're oversensitive. Maybe I'm gonna go with manipulation for the defendant? I don't know. Humility? I think for the revolution maybe we should... Maybe we could use some words of humility. I don't know. Maybe it goes in this direction that... I don't know. Blood spilling is over or something like that. I can't choose for the defendant. Maybe aggression or maybe manipulation. I don't know how I would manipulate them. But you know... Oh. A weak argument. A perfect, a perfect. Okay, so... Okay, so humility for the, revolu for the revolution is definitely a weak argument. So I wouldn't approach this with carelessness. So it's either aggressiveness or manipulation so i think i'm gonna go with manipulation for the third time too so let's go so the first one was aggression that was good disorder shall be suppressed with the brutal strength of our truth no turning back now okay defendant manipulation was good too these offenders want to go back to the old ways they defend them and now i think i want to go with manipulation as well we are not worthy of that freedom if we let the old system and rotten morality poison our country yeah that was good yes we did it that was good i think yeah we increased our reputation even more we gave the crowd what they wanted i think that's a very nice mechanic with the speech giving i die as an innocent man i forgive my enemies I don't know, were you so innocent? Pull the rope! Really? I'm gonna pull the rope now? Oh wow. Okay. So, here we go. One, two, three. Ew. Ugh. 
<sighs> oh well. Um, so we performed the execution ourselves. So we're at home again. I must be dreaming. Is that the map from the Moogler's case? You stole evidence from the court? I did not steal it, only found a use for it. It will be more useful in your room than in the dusty drawers of the court archives. After all, this is a map by Turgo and should be treated with respect. Oh, Raymond. It's still wrong. What a lovely explanation. Consider it a gift. Now take it and try not to talk so much. You should be more concerned about the events with the king because this whole situation just seems peculiar. As your superior, I should be the one judging Louis' case. I fail to understand why Robespierre asked for your assistance. Is he jealous of us? Will he stab us in the back at one point later? You're jealous? Of course I am jealous. It is an important moment in history and people will be reading about it for decades to come. It seems there will be trouble. I have a feeling that someone is toying with my life as though an unknown force were pushing me into other chaos. Keep your eyes open. You came to the political world of the city from out of nowhere and that means someone will have to step down to make room. Do you have to sound so defeated? My husband is a renowned person now. We should be happy about it. It is easier to shoot someone in the spotlight. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do now? Oh well, my wife likes me a lot now. But my son could be a bit so. Opening night at the theater, that would. My wife would love that again. Playtime with the children. I still don't understand why my wife would hate that, that I would play with my kids. Evening with grandfather. No one likes that except my grandfather. And the evening stroll is... I don't know, there's nothing that I could do for my grandfather to like... For my father to like me more except spending a whole evening with him. And no one would like that except for him. Although if I have... If I, if I spend an evening with my grand... With, with my father... It wouldn't influence my wife, but it would influence my kids. So you know what? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take an evening stroll again. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I think the next and the next time Aw I think the next time we're going to We're gonna do something that he likes. I guess everyone liked reading except for our oldest son, right? That was day six. We judged the king, we beheaded the king, and there was a lot going on. I'm still not sure because I think if it was really my choice, I still would have sent him only to prison. I didn't really want to kill him. I still think that putting him to into prison would also have been... A good sentence, but I guess everyone would have hated me then, so... I guess I fell to the game and beheaded someone just so the people would like me. I know that for a fact that if you set him free, you will be killed instead. And then it will be game over, but... I don't know. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened if I just sentenced him to prison. But I wanted everyone to like me. We are going to continue with day 7 in the next episode. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.